it's funny because like me, I feel like I'm still a baby. I feel like I'm still a baby in the art world. So like I'm taking everything like just one day at a time and just like developing. Like I don't really know what my performance art is right now, but I know that's an element that I want to have. I don't know what, what it would be at, you know? I just want to like be able to have that space to like take things to that level. And it, I think I'm on the right path, the fact that I'm aware of it, you know what I mean? But even like what was just done outside, like that's performance art. You could you could you could tell somebody I'm gonna be here at this at this space, and you leave an address, and people could come and see that, and be like, wow, you know. It's all about having like a language and I wanted to figure out how to have, you know, my language or my my discourse or my, my back and forth with the streets. Cause I think, you know, for me studying street art, you know, I believe the, uh, I guess the most prolific street art is street art that actually makes you feel a certain way or makes you have a certain type of like language or like discourse with it. You know, just like a regular person just walking down the street, like what, captures their attention and not th and you know I, I wanted to capture people's attention through visual art and it was just a thing of like how or like how can I do it and I feel like uh, you know as an artist like how can I get access to large groups of people in street art you know it's no real rule system or it's no real like hierarchical value when you when you think of street art it's just you go out there and do it if it's good people will notice it but this painting was like one of my first, you know, the first time I dived into making something super simple. And I was like, okay, you can, you know what a skeleton is from just the lines and just the fact that it's just skinny. So I'm like, okay, how can I make something even more simpler than this? Because, you know, once again, we're dealing with street art. I don't want to get caught. You know, it has to be fast. And that's why street art is the way it is. That's why it's so, um, you know, if you think of like a Banksy, it's, it's two hits. It's like one level, the second layer, and that's how you know it's him. So it got even more simpler than this. And what I understood was the language between the black line and the pink really makes it stand out. So that's why I started making the pink skeletons because of this painting right here, you know? The fact that I use the color pink so much in the skeletons, the reason why is because if you mix pink up, like if you add white to certain things, you can get more of like an olive color that would be more of like a Caucasian, like European. If you mix lower, you know, more darker tones, reds, you can get to like a brown, you know what I mean? And this is like the, the, the antithesis, you know what I'm saying? Like this is like the, the, the median and you could go light or dark from here. So this is like, this could as much be a white person as it is a black person. And that's what the skeletons are. Like they're like that bare starting point. Old, young, rich, poor, white, black. Everyone relates in some way because everybody has a skeleton. I don't, I don't look at it as an emulation. I just more look at it as more of like inspiration. And I like to take what artists do and I like to pay more attention to their processes than their styles. And when I say their process is like what brings them, what brings them to, you know, creation. How is it that they actually moved through a space to get from point A to point B, to get from ground level to penthouse level? Like, you know what I mean? Like their ascension. I'm more so pay attention to stories like that, like the ascension, because I feel like that could help me be a better artist more so than it is like paying attention to like their styles or like or like or even why they do what they do it's more so like how can i take my reasoning and take my reasoning to the next level i feel like i, I battle with that because i don't want to take away from the complex like nature of my paintings by you know just getting too wordy and explaining too much but i feel like times is needed just because we try so hard to be relatable and just simple and keep things simple for people. You know what I mean? In terms of social media, you just have like the one, the one sentence captions and, and things like that. And it just, the reason why we do that is because it's like, it's kind of like we're taught that it's cool to not say so much. 
the mysterious. So that idea of that mysticism of the work makes the consumer assume that it's cool because I didn't really tell you much about it. But it's like, do you actually know what it means? So like, I kind of like battle with that. Sometimes I'll just kind of like leave it there for people to just to like get their own ideas from or draw their own conclusions from. Or sometimes words have a way of kind of like nudging you in the right direction. My responsibility is to move the culture forward and create my own custom conversation within within this bigger conversation that we cannot control. I feel like we all get to choose our stories or like choose our roles in society. Some are good, some are bad. And I much would rather be the good or like the light in the force versus the dark. And I feel like the best thing I can do is while I'm on earth is to, you know, move the conversation forward, you know, bring people out of the dark into the light. And if I can do that through my artwork, or through my words, or through my music, or through whatever, I feel like that's like the best situation for me. Like I have a conscience, so I couldn't do it for any other reason, you know?